Hello, Outlanders, and welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind. I'm here. Outside the Zainab camp. In the early hours of the morning. I made haste from the Alder Daedroth. Came straight here, I did. I wouldn't lie to you. Plus, there's literally nothing else that I'm interested in doing at this point anyway, so... No use hiding anything, if you're wondering. Ah, so let's have a chat with some of the locals and see if they can point me to where I should begin. Well, they get some lovely Grazelands trees in the middle of their camp. I like that. Hello. Yes, Greetings. Yes, What do you want? It's a cool rib you got there. It's a cool name. Oh, look, an outlander. Are you lost? Poor thing. Did the big bad beasts bite you so you need a healer? Or do you need our trader so we can take your gold and give you things we would throw away? Or give to the guar? Um... That's a rather rude welcome. No, my friend. I'm here... Uh, have have some gold. Uh, as a show of good, you know, thoughtful gift, I guess. There you go. I am the Neverine. We Ashlanders have a prophecy. Okay, yeah, no, no, not that one. Uh, we heard rumors. Some pro some outlander says he is the Neverine. So you're that outlander. What do you say to that, huh? Yes, I do. I am. I am he. Hmm. Is that all true? That is very interesting. Ring. It is part of the story of Nerevar. The ring, moon, and star, that none may wear but Nerevar himself. You should talk to Ashkan Kaushad. The Ashkan is very cautious. No, I mean curious about this outlander who claims to be the Nerevarine. Okay, I shall talk to Ashkan Kaushad. He is the mightiest champion and greatest Ashkan of all the Ashlander tribes. A very great man. You should talk to him. He's a very curious man, always speaking with traders and travelers about the news of the world. Go ahead. Our great sheep does not stand on ceremony. You may enter his yurt if you are clean and courteous. Oh, absolutely. Well, thank you. I put my weapon away. Of course. Not necessary, but, you know, role-playing thing. So, that I, I need to be careful here. The, the Zainab are sly and crafty, according to Nibani Mesa. But hopefully we can strike a deal. Greetings, Kaushad. Open your eyes, dammit. Welcome, Outlander. I am he, an Arverine. We have heard the rumors. We know you to be an Outlander who claims to fulfill the Neverine prophecies, but how could an Outlander be the Neverine? You must admit, that just sounds silly. You seem pleasant enough and strong and healthy for an Outlander, but excuse me if I'm not disposed to take your demands seriously. Hmm, is there anything I could do for you to believe me? Ah, I know just the thing. A hundred gold, of course. Uh, now, what do you say? Hmm. Teach us, Wake. How could an outlander be the Neverine? Well, well, of course. I have many proofs, and I my story will speak for itself, so... Y you must understand. Ho oh, ho, excuse me. Do not think me rude, but, but seriously. Do you believe this story yourself? I mean, no offense, but you must admit, you are an outlander, and completely ignorant of our ways. How could you ever be our war leader? What sensible Ashkan would ever choose you to lead the tribes? <laughs> Man, this guy's a little hung up on the Outlander thing. But, uh... You know what, Kaushad? It, perhaps I am ignorant in your ways. Mm, I'll, I'll play the humble card here. Uh, if there is any task that you need doing, then set me to it, and I shall complete it. Blam. Very well. A vampire named Calvario has taken refuge in nearby Narano Ancestral Tomb. If you are as worthy as you say you are, it should be a small matter for you to dispose of this vampire. The hell, you have your task. Now perhaps you would leave me in peace for a bit. Absolutely, Kaushad. I will not overstay my welcome. I will return shortly. What may I do for When the vampire has been slain. Oh, I forgot to ask him the way to go. But I already know the way to go. Basically, come along with me, friends. He said to go west to, until we reach the mountains and then to head north. So here, that is the entrance to the mountains there. So we are already here at the mountains. Now I shall turn north. And my, my, visibility is a bit more limited than normal. Wow, that sun is blazing through the fog, though. Interestingly enough. Uh, where, what the hell is with the Daedra all around the Grazelands? And this is not a phenomenon that I'm familiar with. 
I didn't know Daedra were found in the Grazelands. And I'm kind of getting sick of being attacked by the petty little diseased creatures, but whatever. All right. Oh, I'm going to get out my, my murder ring. What the hell is that thing? Take me longer to get this thing out, but hopefully I can keep it out so I can just, you know, ghost past these things. Not have to bother with them. Ah, there we go. So, his directions were head west of the mountains, then go north until you pass the ruins of Inculeft. Which are here. There's a book about these ruins, I do believe. And he said when you're heading north past the ruins, keep your eyes peeled to the east. For the for an entrance to the tomb facing west on a hill with two trees on either side. And the first time it took me a little bit of looking around in here, I had to be careful because uh, I wasn't quite sure how far north past the ruins it was. Excuse me. But I believe it's only a little bit farther. Right up ahead. Here we go. This is the hill. That is the two trees and that is the entrance to the tomb. Simple enough. Let's head inside and hopefully the weather will clear up. The fog is kind of, uh, I don't like it. Yeah, that's better. It's starting to rain now. Hmm. All right. Prepare yourself for vampires. And bone walkers. Take them down before they can damage my stats. What do we got here? Danders. Hmm, probably some smugglers that have fallen upon the misfortune of discovering a vampire's lair. Probably the skeletal minions. Ursine. There's a key here. What is that thing? Oh, heavy leather boots. That's a non-set item. I think they match the Colovian fur helm, actually. At least in their aesthetic. Mm. Who's I can, ah, I can never forget my freaking ring. There we go. Yeah. Got a note here. From Morris to Baz Baccarat Baccarac, yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna bother reading it, but it's kind of pointless. Just kind of like some made-up dialogue between uh, smugglers that are already dead. So, and it doesn't imply that I can find anything or anywhere. So, nothing really interesting in it. Found the vampire. Let's see if we can sneak up on the bastard. Nope. Man, he's fast. Trying to get a hit by his on-touch absorb health spell. There we go. Calvario. That's the guy. Got your dust as proof. Not that I need it, but I do like to collect vampire dust. Just because. Psh, iron pauldrons. Not much in here. Yeah. All right, then. Let's return to Kaushad and inform him that the task has been complete. All right, Kaushad, I have returned. The vampire Calvario is dead. Dead? Well then, perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps you should be the Neverine. Well, so you killed the vampire. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I will be happy to acknowledge you as Zainab Nervarine, but it is customary for one seeking an honor from the Ashkan to offer the Ashkan a generous gift as a mark of respect. Because you are an outlander and do not know our customs, I will do you the great favor of naming the gift I wish to receive. A highborn Telvani bride, a pretty one, plump, with big hips to bring me many sons. <sighs> Where you will find a Highborn Telvani Bride? That is simple. You should visit Highborn Telvani Lords and inform them that Ashkan Kaushad of the Lordly Zainab would do them the honor of making their daughter his bride. Surely many Telvani Lords would be honored to receive such an offer. Consider carefully the many daughters offered and choose for me the finest. Take counsel with my wise woman, Sonumu Zabamat. She knows my mind and will in well in such matters. Oh, jeez. <sighs> is, what do you is, want? Is there no other way? Uh, what the hell? 
these just look backwards. But whatever. Let's just talk to the wise woman and get this over with. Oh, jeez. This is a crappy ass task. This is stupid. That man is abhorrent. Pitiful scumbag of a man. But I guess it cannot be helped. <sighs> I seek your counsel, Sanamu. I have been given a strange task by your Ashcan. Kashad wants a Talvani bride, eh? No, no, no highborn Talvani would wed an Ashlander, but I have a plan. Go to my friend Saville Emain, slave mistress of the festival slave market in Telerune, and tell her you need a pretty Dunmer slave to pose as a Talvani lady. When Saville Emain will, then Saville Emain will tell you what clothes to buy and will dress her like a highborn Talvani. Then escort the pretty slave to Zainab camp and present her to Ashkan Kaushad as a highborn Talvani bride. He won't know the difference. Ah, I was unaware that you had a contact of sorts, but it makes sense the Zainab are worldly. The most worldly Ashlanders that I have come across. So, tell me about her. She's just uh, in the market. Okay, I've probably talked to her before when I went to go get wives for... Ironically enough, my settlement. <laughs> I'm back for more. <laughs> okay. And this is where I'm going to inform you that right now is where I ended the footage that originally got lost a few videos ago before I started the Hortator thing. Probably for the better. I think I got a, a little bit better uh, pacing and, and format for this the second time around, but still, it was pretty damn annoying nonetheless. I have to go all the way to Telerune, so... I'm gonna use Divine Intervention, which will probably take me to Sadrath Mora now. But just in case, I'm gonna... do that. Make myself a... whatchamacallit, quick save. Divine over, let's do it. By the nine. Yep, Wolverine Hall, alright. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna walk my ass over to Telerune, so... I'll see you in a few moments, my friends. And yes, I just became Sean Connery. Yay! We are now in Talarun. Alright, let's get to the Festival Slave Market, which is, I guess, around the corner somewhere. I'm almost positive that... Sevilla Main is the one I spoke to before. Here we go! You're the little mistress of the slave market, are you not? Hello. Yes, you are. Speak, traveler. I'm back for more. <laughs> You're the one that I ordered my brides from last time. I never thought I would say that, but here we go. I'm back for more brides. Welcome to the... F are you looking for something special? Yes, I am. You need a slave to pose as a highborn Talvani lady. Sweet Alma, that's Sonamu Zabamat and her cunning plans. I do have the slave you want. Falura Lervu, a pretty Dunmer girl. But first, you must get an exquisite shirt, skirt, shoes, and dress. Oh wait, to dress her in. I don't need a dress. That is the dress. All right. Shirt, skirt, and shoes. You can get these exquisite clothes and bring them to me. Or is there is there a, a merchant nearby that I can purchase these from? Otherwise, I'll have to go all the way back to Indara's Manor and get it out of my personal wardrobe. You can get them in Talmora. Elegnan the Clothier, she has some very nice things. See the clothes I'm wearing? Yeah, I bought them from at her shop. Maybe you should try her. When you have the exquisite clothes, we can talk about something special. All right, sure. I think I also need some Talvani Bug Musk, if I'm not mistaken, but... Uh, I don't know, she didn't mention it. Whoa, I can talk to her about all these other slaves, too. I could buy slaves for a thousand gold. What? What is he gonna do for me? I don't, don't want to. I don't need more. I don't need slaves, but you know. Mm. Then we will discuss the price. Okay, then. I can see this is going to be very expensive. Uh, well, I have many golds to spare. So money is not a problem. Tell Mora, huh? Okay. I'll go get the clothes. Actually, it would be fa- Ah, oh, damn it, it wouldn't be faster. I was gonna say, it would be faster if I recalled over- Actually... 
it probably would be faster if I just recalled to my house and I don't have a skirt though. All right, I'll bite the bullet. We'll go back to Sadger with Mora, get on the boat to tell Mora, and buy the clothes, and come back here. Oh man. All right, I'll see you at the shop, I guess. Ah, here we are in the clothier. Hello, my lady. You look very nice, elegant. Look very elegant, if I may say so. I need some exquisite clothes, my lady. You sell these, yes? Yes, of course you do. I was looking for the uh, actual dialogue topics. See if she said anything about it, but not the case. Do I have any offhand? No, it doesn't look like it. So, I need a shirt. And shoes and a skirt. Exquisite all around. Yes, exquisite, exquisite, exquisite. Very good. Yes. Hmm. You can do me 285. Yes, very good. Not the best mercantile, but I'm not you. bad. All right. Back to uh, Talarun, I guess. And there's a lot of running around on this quest. Oh, we're back. Hello, Seville. I, I got the things. Here you go. Something special. Here we go. Good. These clothes are perfect. Hold on to them. You'll give them to her when you've bought her, but I need a little more time to coach Falura Lervu to play the part of a highborn Telvani lady. I know just the thing we need. Go get a bottle of uh, Telvani bug musk perfume. Try the apothecary here in Telrun. Or the apothecary in Telmore. I was just in Telmore. Why the hell would I go back there instead of to the one that's here? That'll make her resistible. Go hurry. All right, yeah, I got it. Uh, there's an apothecary right here, so... I knew I needed one, but... What? I guess. Go in. The fuck? Okay. Oh, oh, you're behind the desk. What is this? I'm typically out of stock of potions used in the treatment of common ailments. That sucks. Hello. It's bug musk, bro. You got any? Yeah. Pay 84. Yeah. Alright. Hopefully this is all I need. I wonder how much this is going to cost me. 2,000? 3,000? 4,000? I guess we'll see. You have the bug musk? Excellent! No, don't give it to me. You'll give it to her when you've bought her. Now, let me tell you my price. For this superb specimen, skillfully coached to play her part in the little scheme, I am pleased to accept you with the modest sum of 1,200 rakes. And I only offer you the special price out of my friendship for Sonamu Zabamat. Hmm. Very... That is actually quite... You know, reasonable. Very reasonable. All right. Sure. 1,200 it is. Here you are. Very good. Thank you for your custom and come back soon. <laughs> I guess I'm like a regular customer now. <laughs> oh, fuck. Now here's the key to her cage. I have removed her slave bracers. When you're ready, you should speak to Falera Lerevu. I keep... That, that name keeps tripping me up. Give her the presents, the exquisite clothes and the Talvanian bug musk, and explain to her that she is to follow you back to Zainab camp to meet her future husband. Oh god, do I have to escort her all the way over there? Oh, please no. Please no, please no. That's her? Okay. Thank you. Oh, I got a key. Eh? That was cool. Hello there. You are very pretty. Yes, Sarah. Falura Lervu of Volothus Haven, daughter of Andrano Lervu. Lord of Tel Lervu. That is a place that doesn't exist. Pleased to make your acquaintance, see? Seville Amain has taught me well. I shall be a highborn Talbani lady, and no one will know the difference, just like a lady. Well, let's hope this works. I admit I'm a little anxious about marrying an Ashlander, even an Ashlander chief, but anything is better than being a slave, and I am very tough and smart, and determined to make the best of my chances. Well, I hope you can deal with this guy. But, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, I have some presents for you. Here you go. Ah, there you go. Looking good, looking good. Oh, Sarah, these clothes, they're divine. Such a perfume. Only the very rich men can afford this. Uh, well, not really, but, you know, okay. I shall do everything I can to please you and my new master. That is my gracious lord and husband-to-be. Come, I am so excited. I cannot wait. Let us travel together. Fuck. To the Zainab camp. Ah, all right, let's go. No, no, this is the worst. This is the worst, man. Please be fast. Okay, she has decent speed. All right. 
shit. Shitty balls. We have to walk all the way over there. Oh my god. Maybe I could take a boat to Vos? It's almost the same distance. Uh, either way, I have to go across the water. Whoa! You getting dizzy there? Um... <laughs> Come on, Seville. Alright. No, you're not Seville. You're Fluralervu. Come, my dear. Alright, guys. I'm fucking... I'm going the wrong way. This is gonna be a long trek for me, but for you guys, it'll be an instant. Ready? Are you ready? There we are. Bazing! We're here. Instantaneous for you guys, but that took me about like 10 minutes. Uh, maybe a little less than 10 minutes, but... Uh, she kept getting attacked by slaughterfish because she had to swim because uh, she doesn't have freaking water walking. Uh, if you can get like a cast water walking on other, that would be handy for this quest. Definitely recommend. But other than that, not too painful. Not too painful. Just be careful and be patient. But we've made it back. Come, my dear. You're here safely. Yes, this is your bridegroom. The man behind the chimes that I can't see because it's dark in here. What the hell's going on? Oh, yes, he's very distinguished looking, isn't he? A bit severe, perhaps, but the lines on his face, they are... Sh ...show that he likes to smile. Oh, sir, I think I'll be very happy. Well, I'm glad you think so. All right, Kaushad, I brought your bride. This is my new bride. I am very pleased with your gift, Wake. Although she is not so generous in the hips as I would like. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> I promise to make her a happy bride and to do her honor as a highborn Talvani lady. And as I have said, I will now name you Zainab Nerevarine, war leader of the Zainab and protector of the people. I must also give you the Zainab Thong. An enchanted heirloom of the tribe, which will be, shall be assigned to all Dunmer that the Zainab have named you, Nervareen. Ah, yes. A thong. <laughs> a perfect suitable gift for one tribe such as yourself, a leader whose utmost interest is the girth of the hips. Great. I, I think it's actually a necklace, though. Yeah, it's a necklace. Just like the other ones. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good one. Madstone, 50 points. Sound, 50 points for 20 seconds. That's really nice. That functions basically like a blind does, except for spell casters. It decreases the, their chance of casting spells by the magnitude. So, half. That's awesome. But the, the, the thong? That's retarded. 150 feet for 5 seconds? No thanks. I've got a spell that does that. 50 to 100 feet for 5... Yeah, what the fuck? Thanks, bro. Alright, see ya. We've done it. We have done it. Well, that was a bit of a pain in the arse. Uh, but it's over now. And, uh... I think there's a couple things that I want to do here. Um... The Zainab are shrewd traders, and if you ask them... They will point you towards... Ashurdan as their trader, but if you talk to this fool... He's only got 300 gold, and he's actually a pretty poor tradesman. Now, let's see. Traders. I am Ashurdan, the trader. The... I don't know how you would find this out. But I'm pretty sure this guy around here... Who's very good at trading. Ashibal, Patababi, Ashurdan, Ashkan... It's none of these guys. Maybe it's somebody else? I'll, rec I'll recognize the name. Timsar. That is San... That is, is that it? Are you the guy? Yeah, there. What are you? Trader and clan holder. Training? He trains mercantile. What else you train, bro? Train some long blade. Can you train me? Aw. Oh, okay. Ah, this is the guy. Yeah. This is the master mercantile trainer. He has 100 merc mercantile. And he can train me up to 100. And he has 9,000 gold. That's a lot. But he's going to undercut me a lot when I try to sell him things. 
Like 28,000? Nah, 9,000. I'll give you I'll give you nine for that. But uh yeah, you it's actually feasible to unload your shit here. Ooh, I like that scroll paralyze. That'd be nice. Uh, I'll take that scroll. Ooh, we took it. Nice. Let me see if I can uh bribe him up a little bit. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I insulted him with the last one. I'm sorry. Oops. Ah, there we go. And, uh... Might not be a bad idea to do some per mercantile training and get my personality up. I've got the gold, and... I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. Uh, per uh me too. Uh, let's get some mercantile training. Ten points. And that'll give me a level, too. I want some personality. Alright. Well, oh, I can't train anything higher because my personality isn't higher. I wonder if I, um, like fortify it like this with my mask. Now can I train? I can indeed. That's a workaround. I'm not sure if that counts as cheating, but I'm gonna do it. Is that, how many is that? Oh, I'm at 10 now. Okay, that's good. Now I can have a rest. I hope you don't mind if I have, you know, a nap. Go right ahead. Sweet. And I could keep training and keep selling him stuff. And it only cost me like 3,000 gold. You can have this Curus. Ooh. Look at that. Now it's selling for a lot higher because my mercantile went up. I wonder if I keep doing this. I'm going to keep doing this. Another level? More personality, please. I thought I picked it last time. Why was it still at 39? Did I fuck up? I hope I didn't. I, 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 it was probably at 34. I haven't raised it for shit. So... Now he's got... Oh, his gold went down. Damn it. How did that happen? Is it because I rested? And it reset? I don't understand why that happens. Damn, I was gonna like. Sell him my things and then, uh, you know, get my gold back. But. Darn. Oh well, it's fine. Let's just sell him the heaviest thing I have, which is the Curus, it looks like. What else do you got for sale, friend? Yeah, he's got that scroll back. Let me get another one. Cross damage. Yeah. Ooh, that's a hefty reflect. It might come in handy. Extra layer of spell protection. Might as well. It doesn't have much other in the way that I want things, so... Let's just sell him that. Put it at nine. That's fine. Now, I have a little bit more gold than when I came here. That's enough training for now. I may return here later to complete more mercantile training. But for now... Whoops, let's take this, <laughs> this mask off. I'm going to end the video here, friends. This is where we part ways once again. Two tribes are down. Actually, three tribes are down. And there is one left. The Arab and Emsum. And they will name me an Arvarine. I will not falter. Next time, my friends. I'll see you then.